the year is gonna start and you're going to have your life figured out you won't hi friends welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new hey i'm lady stick around and you and i can be friends <laughs> I'm making this video primarily because I've been seeing more and more of these become an improved, become a better version of yourself in three months. We have these marketing tactics that are actually quite fascinating. I always watch them. They always get my attention. But nobody has that long. Nobody has three months to start living the life of their dreams. Uh, nobody has the time. Time is up. It's, it's, it's now or you... Will never live the life of your dreams um, the idea behind this rant is that the idea that you get to create a version of yourself that you only get to enjoy at a certain time in the future is very misleading because you may be thinking that if you start working on yourself and becoming a better version of yourself now you're going to get to three months later and experience this great joy and happiness and self-fulfillment i don't think you will i don't think anybody ever really gets to the point of being fully pleased with how far with where they are and not because you don't appreciate how far you've come but because right when you get there you realize that you don't really stop approaching the goal you start realizing that the goal isn't even a destination. It's about enjoying the journey. It's about understanding what the journey is about. The thing with personal development is that it is an everyday chore. It is literally you waking up every single day, choosing to go possibly at war with yourself, possibly at war with the things that continuously tell you that you may not be good enough, you will not be good enough. And choosing nonetheless to show up for yourself. And I call it a chore because the pretty aesthetic of being a self-motivated, self-driven person is very attractive. Everybody wants it. I want it every single day. But more times than not, it doesn't happen like that. You don't really just get to have the prettiness out of self-development there's a quote i read it just says that personal development is misleading because it sounds like it's going to be fun but if we actually called it deliberately making yourself so uncomfortable but like that's not how they market it nobody nobody markets it. personal development as this war <laughs> that it really is because if that was the case if off the bat, everybody was told that to become the better version of yourself, to become a person whom you are happy with, to become the person that people around you are happy with, you are about to go to war with yourself. And it's going to be miserable and you are going to want to ex disappear from yourself, from your own skin. It will be unbearable. I don't think anybody would do it. I don't think anybody would be interested in being better. And I think the idea with these become an improved version of yourself in six months, videos, content, the thing with that is that there is this goal that one may go into this journey looking forward to. You may be going on to this journey thinking that the year is going to start and you're going to have your life figured out. You won't. But I mean it so sincerely. You're going to get to the 1st of January, the 2nd of January, all of January, realizing that you still need to do the work every single day. That's what it is. You're going to be very glad that you're starting today. You're going to be more glad if you started in June or whenever. You're going to be pleased with yourself because you're going to get there and you're going to realize that it actually isn't even that bad. Um, you're going to get there and realize that the work never really ends. You never really get to a point where you meet this better version of yourself and you're happy with them. And not because you're never really happy with yourself, but more because you understand that being happy with yourself is not a destination. You get to want to always be better for yourself. 
because you really want to be comfortable in who you are and who you choose to be and you want to afford the people around you the luxury the pleasure of knowing you of liking you of loving you you want to continuously be the person whom you're promising everybody you are you need to start now it's the best time to start start now start choosing who you want to be but know that you're not going to get there in three months you're not going to get there anytime soon because it's going to require you to choose it every single day you're going to have to choose yourself you're going to have to choose the things that make you happy every single day and you're going to have to choose to allow those things to change so every single day you will be waking up and not always feeling great not always feeling motivated or disciplined or but you're going to have to choose to be the most aligned version of yourself to this person whom you're hoping to meet in three months or six months you're going to have to decide that it's not always about the rush the hurry sometimes it's just about understanding that your life starts and ends right in this moment it starts and ends with the joy that you create for yourself right in this moment it starts and it ends with understanding realizing that tomorrow may not come but you're so happy with who you are who you choose to be right in this moment not wanting to control what the future looks like what it could look like what it might might not look like but just being okay with being here right now right child you need everybody we need to dredge ourselves with the things that make us feel happy from this moment every single day with the knowledge that we may not have three months we may not have six months but be so engulfed by the things that bring us pure joy that we're okay with that reality and the things that make you happy and bring you joy don't always have to be indulgent things i'm not saying go have a donut every single day of your life because believe it or not, not even that is going to make you happy. I'm not saying go out partying or just be with friends every single day of your life to find this happiness. Because true fulfillment is happiness. And your fulfillment is not going to be brought on by these things that are only indulgent. It's going to be the hard things as well. It's going to be choosing to stay up a, a little later at night working on your passion projects because you understand that's what makes you happy it may not feel good happiness does not necessarily mean pleasure right if you've made it this far and you've got some thoughts on this conversation leave them in the comments and let's have a chat about it i will see you very very soon bye